Hey everybody, we're looking at the back of a Chasuble. Lost my precious. Um, I do not know how old this is, and I do not know who made it, but it is well made. Um, if you look, I'm going to show you the seam here. Well, this is the hem of the vestment. It's not lined, but uh, they really did a good job with that. Um, the fabric is, the vestment is made in four pieces, and here you can see where they have sewn the two pieces together that make half of the chasuble. Um, and there is a French seam. I think that is so cool. I thought I was the only person making chasubles with French seams. Uh, but the older ones still have them. Well, obviously the older ones have them. Uh, new ones don't, unless you buy them from me. Um, but here you can see uh, the seam is basically inside itself. So that's really nicely made. There's only one complaint that I have about this chasuble. Around here you see some fading. That was like that before I got it. Um, but here is my complaint. Um, the chasuble snaps open. I, I know that's been going on for more than 50 years. Um, but I don't know. I don't know why they did it because it fits over my head no problem without me unsnapping it. I don't think I've ever unsnapped it since I've had it. So. I'm toying with the idea of taking the orphrey off the vestment, which is a lot of work, and meticulously re-dyeing this, re-dye everything, um, while trying not to turn the gold-colored threads green. This is a, a jacquard weave or something like that. Um, or I will replace the orphrey. Um, this is, you know, it's a pretty decent-looking orphrey, but um, I can buy orphrey for it and save myself a lot of trouble. And then I can make a matching stole and maniple and uh, apparel damas for this since I, I like to put apparel damases on everything. Um, so that's, that's actually probably what's going to happen. Um, so uh, stay tuned and we will talk about vestments.